let us start with quick review of digestion and absorption and important definitions and concepts food is the basic requirement for all living organisms as it provides energy and organic materials for growth and repair of tissues major components of food are carbohydrates proteins and fats minor components of food are vitamins and minerals water plays an important role in metabolic processes and prevents dehydration of the body important definitions and concepts thecodont dentition each tooth is embedded in a socket of the jaw bone diphodont dentition means teeth in humans are as two sets they are temporary teeth and permanent teeth heterodont teeth that means presence of different type of teeth dental formula it tells about the arrangement of teeth in each half of upper and lower jaws deglutition means swallowing the food mesothelium it is epithelium of visceral organs pears patches lymph nodules found in the walls of ileum epiploic appendages it is a small fat filled connective tissue pouches on the outer surface of colon along its length simple diffusion passes of substances depending on concentration gradient active transport transport of substances against the concentration gradient hence it requires energy facilitated diffusion substances are absorbed using a carrier ion like na plus digestive system it consists of digestive tract or alimentary canal and associated glands gastrointestinal tract or gi tract in man technically refers only to stomach and intestine total length of alimentary canal in man is 30 feet alimentary canal it begins with mouth and opens out through anus mouth leads into the buccal cavity or oral cavity it is followed by pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine and large intestine oral cavity or mouth it includes teeth salivary glands and tonsils as accessory organs oral cavity is bounded by lips anteriorly fauces posteriorly cheeks laterally palate superiorly and tongue inferiorly it is lined by stratified squamous epithelium it has a number of teeth and a muscular tongue vestibule of the oral cavity is bounded externally by cheeks and lip and internally by gum and teeth teeth human beings dentition is thecodont heterodont and diphyodont types teeth are derived both from ectoderm and endoderm teeth are mainly made up of dentin while the chewing surface of the teeth helps in mastication of food there are four types of teeth they are incisors canines premolars and molars canines and wisdom teeth are vestigial in man there are no premolar teeth in milk dentition dental formula in human adult is 
23 by 2123. Total 32. Milk dentition of humans are 2102 by 2102. In total, it is 20. Enamel is the hardest substance of the body. Teeth of armadillos and sloths lack enamel. Enamel is made up of calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate. It is secreted by ameloblasts of pulp cavity. Dentin is hotter than bone and it is secreted by odontoblasts which line the pulp cavity. Type of teeth Acrodont dentition When the teeth are not embedded in sockets but they are part of some bone as maxillary teeth or womerine teeth of frog. Thecodont dentition when the teeth are separate entities and are embedded in the teeth sockets, as in mammals and crocodiles. Diffeodont dentition, when two sets of teeth are produced in the lifetime, that is milk teeth and permanent teeth, as in mammals. Polyphyodont dentition, when teeth can be replaced many times in life, as in frog. Homodont dentition or isodont dentition. When teeth are alike, as in frog. Heterodont dentition. When there are different types of teeth present, like incisors, canines, premolars, and molars, as in mammals. Pleurodont dentition. When the sides of teeth are fixed over the lateral surface of jaws, as in reptiles. Bunodont dentition. When there are low cusps present made by ridges of the teeth, as in man. Solenodont dentition. When the cusps are crescentric, as in sheep, etc. Secodont dentition. In carnivores such as cat, dog, lion, etc. Cusps are pointed and are used in cutting. Dental formula Arrangement of teeth in each half of the upper and lower jaw in the order I, C, P, M and M that means incisors, canines, premolars and molars and it is represented by a dental formula. Dental formula in human adults, which represents permanent teeth, is 2123 by 2123. In total, there are 32 teeth in human adult. Dental formula in human while milk dentition is 2102 by 2102. In total, there are 20 teeth in milk dentition of human. Dental formula of mouse is 1003 by 1003. In total 16. Dental formula of squirrel is 1003 by 1013. In total 18. Dental formula in rabbit is 2033 by 1023. In total 28. Dental formula in cat is 3133 by 3120. In total 32. Dental formula in apism is 5134 by 4134, which is equal to 50. Dental formula in bear is 3142 by 3142. In total, 40. Dental formula of horse is 3143 by 3143. In total, 44. Dental diseases. Pyoria. It is an inflammation of periodontal ligaments and gums. Dental caries. Tooth decay due to acids 
produced by bacteria. Lactobacillus acidophilus and Streptococcus mutans are associated with tooth decay. Periodontal disease. It is an inflammation and degradation of periodontal ligaments, gingiva and alveolar tissue. Halitosis. Bad breath due to pyuria and periodontal disease. Diet should contain vitamin D, calcium and phosphorus for healthy teeth. Tongue. Tongue is a freely movable muscular organ attached to the floor of the oral cavity by frenulum. Tongue has striated extrinsic and intrinsic muscles. Terminal sulcus is the groove that divides the tongue into two parts. The anterior two-thirds is covered by lingual papillae. Those are with taste receptors. Four types of papillae are found on human tongue. They are curcumvelate, fungiform, filiform and foliate. Tongue possesses nuns glands which are also called as glandular, lingulus, anteriors. Pharynx It is about 12 cm long. It is a short passage for food and air. Structures that open into the pharynx are esophagus and trachea which is windpipe. It is divided into naso, oro and laryngopharynx. During swallowing, entry of food into the windpipe is prevented by epiglottis which is a cartilaginous flap. Pharynx leads into esophagus through gullet. Esophagus It is a part of elementary canal which passes through neck, thorax and diaphragm. It is 25 cm narrow muscular tube lined by stratified squamous epithelium contain mucous glands. Upper part of this is with striated muscle. Middle part is a mixture of striated and smooth muscles and lower part is purely of smooth muscle. Opening of esophagus into the stomach is regulated by gastroesophageal sphincter. Is also known as cardiac sphincter. Esophagus opens into the stomach. The stomach is located in the upper left portion of the abdominal cavity. It is a J shaped organ. It is about 30 cm long and 15 cm wide. It has three parts cardiac fundic and pyloric portions. Stomach leads into small intestine. Opening of the stomach into duodenum is guarded by pyloric sphincter. Compound stomach. Ruminant animals such as cattle, buffalo, sheep, goat and camel have a compound stomach. Compound stomach consists of four chambers. They are rumen, reticulum, omasum, and ebomasum. Some ruminant animals like camel and deer do not have omasum. Rumen is the largest and first of the four chambers. Rumen and reticulum are the sites of cellulose digestion. They harbor numerous bacteria and protozoa which carry out extensive fermentation of cellulose. Omasum concentrates the food by absorbing water and bicarbonates. Fourth chamber, abomasum is the true stomach as it secretes gastric juice and hydrochloric acid. Small intestine. It is about 6 meters in adults and it has three parts, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Duodenum is of 25 cm long and it is U-shaped. 
pancreas lies between the two limbs of duodenum. It receives hepatopancreatic duct, which is formed by the union of bile duct and pancreatic duct. Jejunum is 2.4 meters long and it is a coiled part. Ilium is highly coiled and 3.6 meters long. Wall of ilium has pious patches which produce lymphocytes. The distal end of ilium has a small dilated spherical sac called succulus rotundus in rabbit. Lining of small intestine bears a series of transverse folds called plica curcuris or walls of curcuring. Their internal lining is with villi. Small intestine leads into large intestine. Large intestine Large intestine consists of cecum, colon and rectum. It is about 1.5 meters long. Cecum is a small blind sac which has some symbiotic microorganisms. A vestigial organ arises from the cecum called vermiform appendix. It is 3 inches in length. Cecum opens into the colon. Colon is 5 feet and it is divided into 3 parts as ascending, traverse and descending part. Constructions on the wall of the colon form a series of pockets called hustra. Three median longitudinal muscle cords on colon are called as tinea colli. Descending part of colon passes into the rectum. Rectum is about 7 to 8 inches long. The terminal 1 inch is anal canal. The anal canal opens out through anus. Histology of elementary canal Wall of the elementary canal has four layers. They are serosa, muscularis, submucosa and mucosa. Serosa which is the outermost layer and it is made up of mesothelium and some connective tissue. Muscularis. These are smooth muscles consisting of outer, longitudinal and circular muscles. In some regions, oblique muscles are also present. Submucosa. Submucosa is loose connective tissue and it contains nerves, blood vessels and lymph vessels. In duodenum, submucosa has Brunner's glands. Mucosa. It is the inner lining layer of the elementary canal. It forms rugae which are irregular folds in the stomach. It also forms villi which are small finger-like foldings in small intestine. Cell lining villi bear microvillas which are seen as brush border. Microvilli increase surface area of absorption enormously. Villi has capillaries and large lymph vessel called lacteal. Goblet cells of mucosa secrete mucus for lubrication during food passes. Digestive glands of stomach and crypts of labercon of intestine are formed by mucosa. Plexus of Arabic is a network of nerve cells and parasympathetic nerve fibers between layers of longitudinal and circular muscles. Plexus of Misner are nerve cells and parasympathetic nerve fibers between circular muscles and submucosa. Digestive glands the digestive glands are associated with elementary canal which include salivary glands, liver, 
pancreas and intestinal glands. Salivary glands Human beings have three pairs of salivary glands. They are parotids which are present near cheeks, submaxillary or submandibular glands which are present near lower jaw, sublingual glands which are present below the tongue. Infraorbital or zygomatic glands are absent in human. Saliva which is with pH 6.9 contains enzyme tylin which is amylase. Tylin acts on starch and converts it to maltose in the presence of chloride ions. Smallest salivary glands are sublingual glands and the largest salivary glands are parotid glands. Parotid glands are compound tubular alveolar glands whereas submandibular and sublingual are compound alveolar glands. Mumps is a viral disease caused by paramyxovirus, causing inflammation of parotid glands. Secretion of parotid glands is poured into buccal cavity through Stenson's duct. Duct of submaxillary reaches buccal cavity through Wharton's duct. Ducts of sublingual gland is duct of Bartholin and duct of Rivinus. Liver Liver is the largest reddish brown gland of the body. It weighs around 1.2 to 1.5 kg in an adult human. It is located below the diaphragm and abdomen. It is attached to the posterior concavity of diaphragm by a fold called coronary ligament. It is also attached to the anterior abdominal wall by falciform ligament. Liver has two lobes. Structural and functional units of liver are hepatic lobules. Hepatic cells are arranged in the form of cords. The connective tissue that covers each lobule is called as glissens capsule. Hepatic cells secrete bile with pH 7.6. Bile is stored and concentrated in a thin muscular sac called gallbladder. The duct of gallbladder is called as cystic duct. Bile duct of liver join cystic duct and form common bile duct. The common hepatopancreatic duct opens into duodenum and opening is guarded by a sphincter called sphincter of OD. Cuffer cells are hepatic microphages present between hepatic cords. Breaking down gallstones by use of ultrasonic vibration is called as lithotripsy. Surgical removal of gallbladder is called as cholecystectomy. Retorted function of liver can cause jaundice. Liver performs a wide variety of functions. Glycogenesis, which means extra glucose is converted to glycogen. Glycogenolysis, where glycogen is converted into glucose. Glucogenesis, it is a synthesis of glucose from other carbohydrates. Lipogenesis, in which extra protein and carbohydrates are converted into lipids. Liver takes care of deamination of protein. Ornithine cycle in which NH3 is converted into urea. Curry cycle in which lactic acid formed in muscles is converted back to glucosin. Liver also takes care of synthesis of substances 
like vitamin A from carotene, vitamin D from cholesterol, etc. Liver takes care of detoxification of substances. Liver takes care of storage of glucosin, vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K, vitamin B12 and folic acid, etc. Liver acts as a thermoregulatory organ. Pancreas Pancreas is a compound racemose organ situated between the two limbs of duodenum. It is the second largest gland. It has both exocrine and endocrine cells. Exocrine portion secretes pancreatic juice with pH 8.8 .8, and it contains enzymes. Endocrine portion secretes hormones like insulin and glucagon. Intestinal glands Submucosa of duodenum is with Brunner's glands, which produces alkaline mucus. In between the villi of ileum, crypts of Lubercan are present. Succus intricus is secreted by crypts of Lubercan. Process of digestion involves mechanical digestion, chemical digestion, and microbial digestion. Breaking down of food by the action of teeth and muscles is called as mechanical digestion. Chemical digestion is by enzyme action. All enzymes are proteins. All digestive enzymes are hydrolytic. The major functions of buccal cavity are mastication of food and mixing food with mucus to help swallowing. The food bolus formed is sent into esophagus by deglutition. Saliva contains electrolytes, enzymes and lysozymes. pH of saliva is 6.8. Daily secretion of saliva in man is about 1 to 1 1.5 liters. Lysogen is an antibacterial agent. Digestion in stomach. Gastric glands have three major types of cells. Mucus neck cells, which secretes mucus. Peptic or chief cells that secretes proenzyme pepsinogen. Parietal or oxyntic cells, which secretes hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor. pH of gastric juice is 1 to 3.5. Protein digestion starts in stomach. Food mixed with gastric juice in stomach is called as chyme. Hydrochloric acid provides the acidic pH. Optimal pH for pepsin is 1.8. Renin helps in digestion of milk. Another enzyme of stomach is gastric lipase. Gastric lipase acts best at pH of 5 to 6. Digestion in small intestine. Three types of digestive juices are released into small intestine. They are bile juice, pancreatic juice, and intestinal juice. Bile and pancreatic juice are released through hepatopancreatic duct. Daily secretion of bile in man is about 600 ml. Bile is alkaline. It is yellow to green in color and has pH of 7.8 to 8.6. Bile does not have any enzymes. Bile salts like sodium tarocholates and sodium glycocholates help in emulsification of fats. Bile salts also help in absorption of fat soluble vitamins. Bile pigments like bilirubin and biliverdin 
are produced during breakdown of old RBCs. Bile also contains cholesterol and phospholipids. Bile also activates lipases. Pancreatic juices Pancreatic juice is a complete digestive juice. It takes part in the digestion of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Pancreatic juice contains trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen, procarboxypeptidases, amylases, lipases, and nucleases. Enterokinase secreted by intestinal mucosa converts inactive trypsinogen to active trypsin. Intestinal juices. Intestinal juice or succus entericus is mainly secreted by crypts of Leberkin. It is a clear yellow fluid slightly alkaline with a pH of 7.8. The intestinal mucosal epithelium has goblet cells which secretes mucus. The secretion of fresh border cell of mucosa along with the secretion of goblet cells constitute the succus entricus. Enzymes of intestinal juices are disaccharidases, dipeptidases, lipases, nucleosidases. Mucus along with bicarbonates form the layer that protects intestinal mucosa from acids. It also provides an alkaline medium for enzymatic functions. Functions of digestion Proteins, proteoses, and peptones are partially hydrolyzed proteins of chyme. Trypsin, chymotrypsin, and carboxypeptidase act on proteins, peptones, and proteoses and convert them into dipeptides. Pancreatic amylase hydrolyze carbohydrates in the chyme into disaccharides. Lipases act on fats and convert them to D and monoglycerates. Nucleic acids are converted to nucleotides and nucleosides by nucleases in the pancreatic juice. Enzymes of succus entricus act on end products of the above reactions. Biomolecule breakdown occurs in duodenum of small intestine. The regions of absorption of digested food are jejunum and ileum. The undigested and unabsorbed substances pass into large intestine. Functions of large intestine include absorption of water, mineral and drugs, secretion of mucus that adheres to the waste particle and helps in the easy passes. Chemical digestion Chemical digestion in buccal cavity where starch is converted into maltose with the help of salivary amylase. Chemical digestion in stomach Pepsin converts proteins into proteoses and peptones. Chemical digestion in intestine with the help of pancreatic juice where proteins, peptones, and proteoses are converted to dipeptides. Polysaccharides are converted into disaccharides with the help of amylase. Fats are converted into diglycerides with the help of lipases, and again they converted into monoglycerides. Nucleic acids are converted into nucleotides and into nucleosides. Chemical digestion Action of enzymes of succus entricus Dipeptides are converted into amino acids with the help of 
dipeptidases. Maltose is converted to glucose with the help of maltase. Lactose is converted into glucose or galactose with the help of lactase. Sucrose is converted to sucrose and fructose with the help of sucrase. Nucleotides are converted to nucleosides with the help of nucleotidases and nucleosides are converted into sugars with the help of nucleosidases. Di and monoglycerides are converted into fatty acids and glycerol with the help of lipases. Undigested and unabsorbed substances called feces enter into cecum of large intestine through ileocecal valve. Ileocecal valve prevents backflow of fecal matter. Fecal matter is temporarily stored in rectum till defecation. Neural control on GI tract. Secretion of saliva is stimulated by sight, smell or presence of food in oral cavity. Neural signals stimulate gastric and intestinal secretions. Through CNS and local stimulation, muscular activities of different parts of elementary canal can be moderated. Hormonal control on GI tract. Control of secretion of digestive juices is carried out by the local hormones produced by gastric and intestinal mucosa. Gastrin, enterogastron, CCK, secretin, pancreogymin, enterocrinin are the hormones which act on GI tract. Absorption of digested products. End products of digestion pass through intestinal mucosa into blood or lymph. Substances absorbed by simple diffusion are monosaccharides like glucose, amino acids and some of electrolytes like chloride ions. Substances absorbed by facilitated diffusion are fructose, some amino acids with the help of carrier ions like Na+. Transport of water depends on osmotic gradient. Substances absorbed by active transport are amino acids, monosaturides, and electrolytes like Na+. Absorption and product of fat digestion. Fatty acids and glycerol are insoluble and cannot be absorbed into blood. They are first converted into macellae and then moves into intestinal mucosa. In the intestinal cells, they are converted into very small protein-coated fat globules called chylomicrons, which are transported into lacteals of the villi. Lymph vessels carry chylomicrons into bloodstream. Summary of absorption in different parts of digestive system. Mouth. Certain drugs coming in contact with the mucosa of mouth on lower surface of the tongue are absorbed into blood capillaries lining them. Stomach. It takes care of absorption of water, simple sugars and alcohol. Small intestine. It is the principal organ for absorption of nutrients, glucose, fructose, fatty acids, glycerol, and amino acids. Large intestine takes care of absorption of water, minerals, and drugs. Assimilation Utilization of absorbed substances by the tissue is called as assimilation. Defecation Digestive waste seen as feces in the rectum initiates a neural reflex causing an urge or desire for its removal. 
rectification is a voluntary process and is carried out by a mass of peristaltic movement. Feces is ejected outside through the anal opening. Peristalsis Peristalsis occurs usually in esophagus, stomach and intestine. Least peristalsis occurs in rectum. Peristalsis is a part of mechanical digestion. Stimulation of parasympathetic nerve system results in the increase of gut peristalsis. Reverse peristalsis in stomach produces vomiting. Protein energy malnutrition, which is also called as PEM. Protein energy malnutrition may affect large sections of population during drought, famine and political turmoil. PEM affects infants and children to produce marasmus and quaestor core. Marasmus is produced by a simultaneous deficiency of proteins and calories. It is found in infants less than a year in age. If mother's milk is replaced too early by other foods which are poor in both proteins and caloric value. This is often happens if mother has second pregnancy of childbirth when the older infant is still too young. Symptoms Emaciation Thinning of limbs Skin becomes dry, thin and wrinkled Growth rate and body weight is declined. Quasiorker is produced by protein deficiency unaccompanied by calorie deficiency. It results from the replacement of mother's milk by a high calorie low protein diet in a child more than one year in age. Symptoms of Quasiorker are wasting of muscles, thinning of limbs, failure of growth and brain development, Fat is still left under the skin. Disorders of digestive system Nausea, which is a discomfort preceding vomiting. Anorexia, which is a loss of appetite. Hemorrhoids, it is a condition in which enlargement of rectal vein which causes piles. Dyspepsia Indigestion due to defective diet. Hytal hernia or diaphragmatic hernia occurs in the opening of diaphragm when part of the stomach is pushed into the thoracic cavity. Peptic ulcer is an erosion of stomach or duodenal mucosa. Cirrhosis of the liver. It is a condition in which liver appears orange. Some people cannot digest milk and milk consumption in them cause diarrhea and gas generation because they do not produce lactase. Removal of all or part of stomach produces dumping syndrome. Abnormal metabolism of fats causes Gaucher's disease. The vermiform contain numerous lymphatic nodules and are subjected to inflammation which is called as appendicitis. Most common disorder is inflammation of the intestinal tract due to bacterial and viral infections. Parasites like tapeworm, roundworm, threadworm, hookworm, pinworm, etc. cause infections of elementary canal. Jaundice is a condition where liver affected, skin and eyes become yellow due to deposition of bile pigments. Vomiting. It is a reflex action controlled by vomit center in medulla. A feeling of nausea precedes vomiting. Diarrhea. Abnormal frequency of bubble movement and increased liquidity of faecal discharge is known as diarrhea. Constipation. Faecals are retained within the rectum as bubble movements are irregular. Indigestion. 
food is not properly digested leading to a feeling of fullness if you like our videos please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get regular updates Thank you very much. Thank you very much.